All right, good morning, everybody. Yeah, thanks. Um, you know, some nights are really good, and like last night, I just don't know if everyone took their crazy pills or what, but I mean, it was... <laughs> It was a long night. It went by quick, but it was a busy night. Anyway, I'm home, and I went shopping, and I picked up the stuff for the lasagna. Um, this is my own kind of lasagna. I'm using, like, ground turkey, and I'm using some ricotta, and I'm putting some spinach in it. And instead of uh, pasta, I'm just going to use some eggplant. I'm going to go in a second here and show you the eggplant that I bought. I wanted a, a nice fresh eggplant, but they didn't have any, so I had to do frozen. So, um, and hopefully it'll all work out. Some of these uh, procedures I've done on other videos, you might have to flash back, like uh, I'm going to be using the same breading, breadless breading that I used on the gluten-free uh, fried fish, uh, air fried fish. And uh, on the eggplant, so, <laughs> so I'm tired, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, let's just get through it. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is ground up the turkey. You are the ground turkey. I'm going to I'm going to put it in a pan, and I'm going to brown it, and I'm going to add some onion to it. And I think you've seen me do this before, but Here's another quick clip of it, and uh, let's get cooking, because uh, it should be tasty. Unusual, but uh, tasty. And, and, and excuse me, because um, this is far from professional. The video is probably going to be choppy and sucky, and I'm just using, like, I'm not using fresh grated cheeses. I'm using bagged Sargento stuff, and... Sometimes that's what you got to do, but um, enjoy it. Anyway, I hope it comes out good. All right, first thing I'm doing is it's not really that difficult. I've got a pound of, uh, a little over a pound of ground turkey, some red onion, added some salt and pepper to it, and I'm just finishing browning it. I added some Worcestershire sauce, some salt, pepper, just give it some seasoning. Onions are nice and soft. It's kind of dry. That's good. So I'm going to pull this off and set it aside for now. Well, like I said, I want to use uh, eggplant instead of noodles. Uh, I, when I was at Big Y, I went to look at their eggplant. They had one eggplant. It was like all squishy and it was pretty nasty. So it forced me into the frozen food section where I found grilled veggies, eggplant. Now this is already grilled and they're little grilled pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bread these up. I'm going to use the same batter that I used on the gluten-free uh, fish sticks, which is a half a cup of uh, gluten-free flour and a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I add a half teaspoon of uh, paprika, garlic powder, salt, pepper, a little bit of Cajun seasoning if you want, and uh, uh, dried parsley. So I mix all that all up together. I do an egg, an egg bath, and then I'm going to put them in the egg and then put them in the flour and set them aside. You've seen me do it before, but I'll just show you a quick one again. So this is going to be no frills. I've got a grilled piece of frozen um, eggplant, grilled eggplant. I'm going to put that in the egg with the dry hand. I'm going to put a little bit of that flour mixture on there. And then I'm going to set it aside on a paper plate. And I'm going to do one more for you. A bit of eggplant. Hard to do it with the camera in the way, but pat it down, spank it off, and put it aside. 
So we'll keep doing that. All right, I did the entire package of these and I'm going to probably have to do batches at a time. So that's good for right now. Maybe one more if I can find a small one. You don't want to overlap them, so. Okay, they don't look pretty, but uh, let's throw these in the air fryer. I'm going to put them at 350, and I'm going to look at them for about 15, maybe 20 minutes. So I'm going to go for 15. All right, folks, stay with me. I'm getting down and dirty real quick here. Um, big bowl. I've got some ricotta cheese. The bowl is sitting on a scale, so I'm going to do about... 15 ounces doesn't have to be exact could be a little over there we go 15 ounces of ricotta I am then going to add a half a cup of grated parm calls for a slightly beaten egg but I'm just going to beat it in here and we're going to take all that cooked ground beef with the onion and we're going to put that in there too. And then I am just going to mix it all up. At least get it going. Now I also have a thawed out 10 ounce package of chopped spinach. After I squeeze out the water it's one big ball. So I'm going to put that in there too. I'm just going to mix it all up. The you know, little ones at home, they might like to do this. So, you get the idea. I'm getting dirty. I'm going to mix it all up. And then we're going to move on. Alright, I don't know why I lost my sound, so I'm just going to do a voiceover here. Um, using my desk mic. Here is the finished first batch. It looks like a coyote ate at it. Um, it did stick to the um, uh, inside of the air fryer. So that really sucked. Um, this time for the second batch, I'm going to try to use some parchment paper. When I bought this air fryer, I bought some extra little discs like this of parchment paper that supposedly went with it. Um, it didn't come with it, but I bought it from Amazon. And I'm just going to lay the second batch down right here. Uh, the first batch did take 15 minutes uh, at 350. And now I'm going to put the grate down on top. And this grate is a pain in the ass, so even if you spray it. So I'm just going to go with the parchment on top of that as well. So I'm going to grab another uh, disc of parchment and put it right on there. And I'm going to use the last few pieces of uh, eggplant and uh, with the gluten-free uh, flour and uh, the spices and, you know, the cheese. So I'm going to put that there. We're going to go in the oven again for about another 15 minutes at 350 degrees and then we will be good. Okay, the second batch with the parchment paper is done. They're not sticking as much. That's good. Spoke too soon. Hot, hot, hot. So, I'm so haphazard today. So after working all night, it just, it sucks. All right, so I've got the bottoms, I got the tops. I'm only going to do one layer, so it's only going to be like a lasagna sandwich. So let's move forward and put it together. I'm going to use up the last of my marinara that I have here that was in the fridge. And I'm going to put some of that right on the bottom of the dish. 
Doesn't have to be pretty. Okay. Now I'm going to put the first layer of the eggplant down. And again, it's going to be kind of like a puzzle. You got to try to fit the pieces as best as you can. You don't want to overlap. So if you've got an area like this here, you just want to cut a piece of that away and tuck it in there. Mm. Okay, first layer is done. So got some leftover cheeses here. So um, I'm going to spoon just a little bit of sauce. Just it's like paint, just a little little light coat of paint on top of the eggplant. Excuse me, I'm going to use up the rest of my mozzarella from all the little pizzas that I've had. Stuff like that. It's one leftover bag. Got another leftover bag here. So, I'm also going to toss down a couple pieces of um, smoked provolone that I had left over. Put those right down there. On top of this, I put the meat mixture in a bag and I am going to and I'm going to grab a corner of this bag it. And I'm going to use it like a pastry bag, but it's got a big ass hole in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to squeeze some of that onto the top. I said it's not looking pretty but it's going to get the job done I'm just going to pat this ricotta spinach turkey mix right down on top of that I want a little bit more Probably made too much, but I've still got another bag in there, so I might make another batch later. So I'm just going to spread this around a little bit. Kind of make it even as best as you can. I've got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. And now to this. I got some of these Mazzetti roasted pepper strips. And I'm just going to throw some of those pepper strips down. Again, this brings back fond memories. My, uh, I never used to like peppers. And my mom, when we got to go someplace together, just the two of us, um, she would bring me to this place called uh, Mickey's Drive-In in East Hartford. I think it's Mickey's Oceanic Grill, if it's still there. And she turned me on to pepper cheeseburgers. They're cheeseburgers with these roasted pepper strips. I was like, oh my God, roasted pepper strips. That ruins a cheeseburger. But I tried it. She asked me just to try it. And I tried it, and I really like it. And now, even the smell of these peppers brings back those memories. So, I'm going to get the rest of the eggplant here, and I'm going to put that down. Like I said, some of it got stuck, so it looks like a coyote was chewing on it. 
but um, it's still got to be better than those soggy ass noodles. And again, keep a knife nearby because you can cut these to fit. Little pieces. That's looking good. I've still got a few little pieces I can fit in here. I can quarter this piece. And it's just like putting a puzzle together. I find this pretty relaxing to do, actually. Um, I know I posted that I had a rough night last night, and I did. It was really sucked. But um, cooking does relax me. Okay, so we got this here. I'm going to put on the rest of the marinara sauce. Kind of spread that about. I'm going to have to put a baking sheet underneath this because I don't want it to boil over. We're kind of getting on the edges here. I got a little bit left in the jar for reserve to pour on top of it when I'm done. I always like to have a little bowl of it on the side so that uh, a hot, you know a hot some hot sauce on the side just to add to that and I'm going to use a three-state cheddar on top of that let's use up the rest of the mozzarella Ooh, doggy. all right it's kind of bored I didn't know what to I didn't feel like grating my own cheese. Like I say, this is a, a morning dinner that's being put together. I'm lucky to even be getting this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a baking sheet. I'm going to put some foil underneath the baking sheet or on the baking sheet. And I'm going to put this on top of the foil. I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven. And I'm going to let it sit till about 35, 40 minutes. And I'm hoping it's going to be outstanding. Fingers crossed. Okay, it's been about 35 minutes and we're going to take it out of the oven. Oh my, bubbling goodness. There we go. So about 35 minutes. It is bubbling. It is soft. Um, I'm going to let this sit for probably about 15-20 minutes and then I'm going to cut into it and see what we got here and give it a try. Right now it's just molten lava so um, but it, oh my god it smells so amazing I mean it's but uh, okay we'll come back well, the first cut is usually the sloppiest, but let's give this a try. I'm going to clean up around the edge here a little bit. ready. Let's dig right down in here. Here we have a slice of that beautiful looking lasagna. Wow, look at that. It's just amazing. We're using the word amazing again. I'm so tired. Anyway, let's uh, Let's give this a shot. Oh 
my goodness. Look at that, will you? Oh my. Mm. Mm. Wow, so good. There's just the right amount of firmness there. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, uh, the eggplant, if I were to deep fry it, would be a hell of a lot crispier. But still, it's got a nice meaty texture. The flavor profile is just awesome. Um, I mean, wow. cuts just like lasagna. It's not a soupy mess. It doesn't just like fall through. You actually got to cut it. And those peppers, the roasted peppers that are in there, everything. I mean, and you can add mushrooms to this. You can do whatever you want, but I mean, wow. Oh. That is so crazy good. And you know what? This freeze is good. In the fridge, you know how many meals you can get out of this? For the family, it's it's relatively healthy. It's low carb. Got that spinach in there and the peppers and the eggplant. The ricotta, oh my goodness. Well, I'm not going to be making another video for probably another two or three days because this is what I'm going to be eating. So good. Um, it, it's absolutely delicious. And I know everybody's got their own lasagna thing going on. And you can modify this any way that you want. You saw what I put in it. And you can change that up to whatever you like. You can add things, subtract things. But as a base model, this is with the eggplant. And look how convenient it was to have that frozen grilled stuff. It was a bird's eye brand, I believe. And... Uh, you know, with the fresh, you've got to slice it, you got to salt it, you got to soak it, you got to get the bitterness out of it, and then you got to, you know, fry it up after that, after it dries out. But this is just quick and easy. Man, it's just so delicious. So, I'm already getting full. Starting to, so I'm going to have like one more bite. I'm done. Let me know what you think. If you add something to it or if you add a little zip to it or something else, I mean, let me know. And uh, I'm always up for good ideas. So, But this is basic. It's quick. This is the base model. And uh, wow. So really, really good. Hope you enjoy it.